Hello everyone, how are you? I wish you all are fine. So in uh, this video, we will discuss about red and yellow soils. Okay. So let's see about red and yellow soils. Red soil developed on crystalline, crystalline igneous rock in an uh, area of low rainfall in uh, the eastern and southern part of Deccan Plateau. Okay. Uh, it uh, develops on a red soil, develops on crystalline igneous rock in an area of low rainfall in the eastern and southern part of Deccan Plateau. Yeah. Uh, yellow and red soils are also found uh, in uh, parts of Odisha, Chhattisgarh, southern part of the Middle Ganga Plains, and uh, along the Pidmore in zone of the western guard. Okay. And uh, it is also uh, this soil is also uh, found in the parts of uh, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and uh, southern part of uh, Middle Ganga Plains and uh, along the Pidmon zone of the western guard. Okay. These soils develop a, develop a reddish color due to diffusion of iron in Crystalline and metamorph metamorphic rock. Okay, and uh, it looks uh, uh, red. Uh, it looks uh, red due to diffusion of iron. Okay, these soil develops a reddish color due to diffusion of iron in crystalline and metamorphic rock. Okay, and it looks yellow when it occurs in hydrate form and it looks yellow when it, it occurs in hydrate form okay so this is all about red and yellow soil now let uh, now let's see about uh, let right soil okay let right soil let right has been derived from uh, from the latin word letter uh, which means brief. Okay, it is uh, derived from a Latin word that uh, from uh, the Latin word that is letter which means brief. Okay. The laterite soil develops under tropical and subtropical climate with alternate wet and dry season. Okay. And uh, the and uh, it uh, it develops under tropical and uh, subtropical climate condition with uh, alternate wet and dry season. This soil is uh, is the result of intense leaching due to heavy rainfall. This soil is intense leaching due to due to heavy rainfall. Okay, this soil is less fertile because the topmost layer get washed away due to leaching okay that's why it is also uh, that's why it is this soil is res less fertile okay latric soil are uh, latritic soil are uh, mostly deep to very deep acidic this soil is acidic okay generally Generally uh, deficient in plant nutrition and occurs mostly in southern state, western Ghats region of Maharashtra, Odisha, some parts of western West Bengal, West Bengal and, and northeast region. And uh, uh, this soil uh, is in a difference in a plant nutrition and occurs mostly in the southern state and also in the western Ghat region of Maharashtra, Odisha and some part of West Bengal and also northeast region where where these soil supports uh, this soil supports support deciduous and evergreen forest and this uh, it is human rich but under sparse vegetation and in 
semi-arid environment. Okay, it is generally humus poor. Okay. Okay. Uh, where uh, this soils, this soils support to deciduous forest and also deciduous and evergreen forest. Okay. Under under a sparse vegetation. Okay, it is a uh, it's it is uh, humor rich, but under sparse vegetation and uh, in semi arid semi arid environment. Semi arid environment. It is generally humus humus poor. Okay. These are the uh, Poron of they are poron to erosion and degradation due to their uh, position on the position on the landscape. They are uh, they are poron to poron to erosion and degradation. Erosion and degradation due to their uh, uh, due to their position on the landscape. Okay. After uh, adopting uh, appropriate soil uh, conservation technique techniques. Technique uh, particularly in the hilly areas of Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. This soil is very useful for growth tea and coffee. Okay. Uh, after adopting appropriate soil conservation technique, particularly in hilly, uh, hilly areas like uh, areas of Karnataka. Uh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Okay, this soil is very important for the growth of tea and coffee. And this soil, uh, this soil is uh, very useful for the growth um, for the grow growing of tea and coffee. Okay, red nitrite soil in uh, in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Kerala are uh, more suitable for crops like uh, cashew, cashew nut okay uh, and uh, red electric soil in uh, that is present in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala okay are uh, more suitable for uh, crops like cashew nut okay so this is all about the electric soil it is, it is found in the area of uh, high rainfall and uh, high temperature okay and this soil is less, less fertile because because the topmost layer get washed away due to leaching okay and uh, very less amount of humus humus containing uh, humus uh, humus contain is present okay in this soil and uh, found in the uh, Kerala, Karnataka, Kar, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, and hilly areas of Odisha and Assam. Okay, and it is, uh, uh, and uh, it uh, is a uh, very, uh, it is very useful for uh, growing tea and coffees. Okay, and cash, cash nut can be grow in this type of soil. Okay. Now let's see about arid soils. Arid soil range form from uh, red to brown in color. Arid soil uh, range from uh, red to brown in the color. Okay. They are generally sandy in texture and. Uh, saline in nature. 
it is a uh, uh, the uh, the soil are generally sandy in texture and saline in nature okay in uh, some areas in some areas salt contents is very high and uh, common salt is and common salt is obtained by evaporation evaporating what uh, evaporating the water okay in some areas these salt contains a, uh, is a, uh, in a is a, sorry is a very high is very high and common salt is obtained obtained by evaporating the evaporating the water okay due to uh, due to the dry climate due to the dry climate high temperature uh, evaporation is faster and uh, the soil lack lacks humus and moisture okay in uh, the dry season in the dry climate okay uh, in the uh, in the dry climate high temperature and uh, high temperature evaporation is fast high temperature evaporation is what fast and the soil lack in humus and moisture moisture okay due to okay uh, due to due to high temperature and uh, evaporation is faster so i like in uh, humus and moist okay moisture the lower uh, horizon horizons the lower horizons of uh, the soil of the soils are uh, uh, occupied by occupied by kanker because because of increasing calcium contained number okay in uh, the lower in the lower in the lower layer of the soil uh, is occupied by kanker because of increasing uh, increasing calcium content in in uh, downward okay the kanker layer formation uh, formation in a uh, bottom bottom horizons restrict the infiltration of the water after a proper irrigation these soils become cultivated cultiva cultivable cultivable as uh, has been in the case of western rajasthan okay and uh, these soils are mostly found in western rajasthan okay so this is all about the arid soil this is here the figure of figure of arid soil okay so you have to understand about arid soil and and now let's see about the uh, forest soil forest soil these soil are uh, these soils are found found in hilly hilly and mountainous areas are uh, where sorry mountainous area where areas where sufficient rain forest rain forest are available okay so uh, these soils are found in hilly and mountainous 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 areas where the sufficient uh, uh, sufficient rainfall is available okay available the soil texture uh, varies varies according to the mountain mountain environment to where they are found uh, the soil texture are vary according to the mountain environment mountain environment where they are where these soil are found okay they are uh, they are uh, uh, 
Loami, Loami and the upper slopes. Sorry, Loami and Tilde uh, Valley, Valley sides and coarse uh, granite in upper upper slopes. Okay, uh, they are uh, lonely. They are lonely. And uh, these soils are uh, loamy, uh, loamy and uh, loamy and uh, silty in uh, uh, valley sides, valley sides and uh, coarse granite, coarse granite in in the in the upper slopes. Okay. In snow, in snow, can uh, in the snow covers area areas of Himalayas. These soils uh, experience these soils experience denudation uh, uh, and are acidic with low humus content. Okay. Uh, this uh, soil is uh, rich in humus but uh, poor in this soil is rich in uh, humus but uh, poor sorry are acid with low humus content okay this soil are acid with low humus content okay and this soil experience uh, denudation and are acidic with the humus contain. The soils found in the uh, lower parts of uh, valley, particularly on uh, the rivers, uh, the river traces and uh, alluvial fans and fans are fertile. Okay. And uh, these soils found in the lower part of these soils are found in the uh, lower part of uh, lower part of valley, particularly particularly on the river stresses and alluvial fans are fertile. Okay, so this uh, this is all about the uh, alluvial soil. Okay, that is it is found in hilly and mountainous area where the Sufficient rainfall is available. Okay, and it is this soil, uh, this soil found in the uh, Himalayan region, and also in Western and Eastern Ghats and uh, some parts of Peninsular of Peninsular is found in India. Okay, and this soil <coughs> is loamy and. in a uh, village sites and coast grenade in, in the upper slopes okay so this is all about uh, the forest soil now let's see soil erosion and soil conservation okay the denudation the denudation of the soil Cover and uh, subsequent washing down is is described as soil erosion. So here is the definition of soil erosion. That is soil erosion. It means uh, uh, in simple word you can say that the removal of topmost layer of soil is called as soil erosion. Okay. It's called soil erosion. What is soil erosion? The denudation of a soil covering, the subsequent washing down uh, is described as soil erosion. In simple word, you can say that uh, the removal of topmost layer of soil is known as soil erosion. Okay. 
the process of uh, soil uh, formation and uh, erosion go on uh, simultane simultaneously and uh, generally there is a balance between uh, between between the two okay uh, the processes the processes of uh, soil formation and erosion go on uh, simultaneously and generally there are, uh, there is uh, there is a balance between between two okay between two sometimes this balance is disturbed due to human activities like deforestation over grazing uh, construction and uh, mining etc okay and uh, in uh, some time and uh, sometimes uh, it is disturbed this balance is disturbed due to only human uh, due to human activities like uh, overgrazing deforestation mining <coughs> mining uh, and construction okay and it is see while while nature while nature forest like wind glacier and water lead to soil erosion and uh, while the nature forest like wind uh, wind water lead water uh, glacier water lead to to soil erosion the running the running water cuts through the clays clays and uh, makes deep clay soils uh, clay soils and uh, make uh, make deep channels as uh, gullies gullies okay gullies it means uh, the running of uh, water cut uh, through cut to the clay soil and make deep channels as gullies gullies okay the land becomes uh, unfit for the cultivation and is known as bad land and this land is uh, and this type of land becomes unfit for the cultivation so this soil is known as bad soil okay in the chambal in the chambal in the chambal uh, in the chambal basin such lands are such lands are right uh, in the chambal in the chambal basin basin such lands are called ravines sometimes water flow as flow as sheet over large areas down a slope in such case says the top in such cases the top the top soil is washed away okay in what cases in the uh, uh, in sometimes water uh, water flows as a slit over a large area down a slope in uh, these cases the topmost layer is washed okay this is known as the shit erosion this one is known as shit erosion here you can see in this figure uh, this one Okay. Okay. So this one is known as seed erosion. Okay. Now let's see. Because such cases, this is known as seed erosion. Okay. Wind blows loss, uh, loss, loss while of flat or slopy land known as wind erosion. And uh, what is wind erosion? Now, uh, wind erosion is a natural process that uh, moves soil from uh, moves soil from uh, a location to with uh, wind power. Okay, with wind power. This one is known as wind erosion. And what is sheet uh, sheet erosion? Uh, when the 
uh, when the vegetation cover of an area is removed the rain water instead of uh, slipping into the ground washed it down the slopes okay this one is known as seed erosion and wind erosion wind erosion is a natural process okay this uh, is a natural process that moves soil from uh, one location to another location with wind power this one is known as wind erosion wind erosion okay soil erosion is also caused due to uh, defective methods of farming and it is also uh, soil erosion is also caused by the defective uh, defective uh, methods of farming plugging is uh, plugging in a wrong way that is you uh, see sorry up that is up that is up and down the slopes form uh, channels form the quick flow of water leading to soil erosion okay so uh, plugging uh, plugging in a wrong way that is a uh, up and down of the up and down uh, slope form channels from uh, the quick flow of water leading to the soil erosion plugging also plugging along the uh, contours lines can uh, declare sorry sorry declare it this uh, this rate to this rate to flow of water down the slopes this is called counter plugging now let's see what is counter uh, plugging counter lines uh, counter line can uh, declare sorry this rate this rate uh, this rate to the flow of water down the slopes this is called counter plugging now let This is the figure of counter plugging. Counter plugging is a process of forming by keeping the line of by keeping the line of contours contours uh, contours on the sloping region on the sloping region. Okay, this one is known as counter plugging. Shit can be cut on the slopes, making the traces. Traces cultivation uh, restricts erosion. Erosion. Uh, Western and Central Himalaya have the have a well developed. Trace farming. Have Himalaya have a developed trace farming. And now let's see about uh, what is trace farming. Trace farming is a process of culti uh, cultivation crop, cultivating crops on the side of Himalaya or mountain say, by planting on a graduate to traces uh, covered into the slopes okay let me show you the figure of this coming like this This one is a pillar of dress farming, okay. <coughs> Terrace 
assignment. Uh, okay. Large fields can be divided into strips. The strips of grass, grass are uh, led to grow between the crops. This breaks up the force of the wind. This method is known as strip cropping. And uh, the another one is strip cropping. Strip cropping is a method of developing uh, different crops on the very same field in a distinguishable strips or uh, strips. Okay, generally alternately. Okay, so this one is known as strip cropping. Uh, planting lines of trees to create shelter also work in a similar way. Rows, rows of uh, such trees are called shelter bells and what is shelter bells shelter bells pl uh, planting rows planting rows uh, of uh, trees on uh, on one side of a of an area prevents the wind from eroding the soil okay eroding the soil these shelter bells have contributed contributed sufficient uh, sufficiently Sorry, significantly uh, to to the stabilization to the stabilization of shag dunes and uh, dune, dunes and stabling the desert in the western okay so this one is all about the shelter beds so i hope you uh, understand uh, all the video so that's all for today thank you have a nice day